Today's teaching is a project of the Middle East and North Africa Solidarity Network, US, um, which is founded by groups and individuals who are committed to the principle of international solidarity from below, and who, who stand unequivocally on the side of the oppressed against their oppressors. Um, the MENA Solidarity Network supports all of the revolutionary struggles across the Middle East and North Africa, whether against Washington's lackeys in Egypt, Tunisia, um, or Bahrain, um, or against rhetorically anti-imperialist regimes like Libya uh, and Syria, not to mention the struggles in Yemen, Palestine, Sudan, and other countries. Democratic and economic rights are not luxuries that can continue to be deferred. Um, they are fundamental rights that have to be fought for and won. We cannot, as people of conscience, ignore the call for freedom, dignity, and social justice coming from revolutionaries throughout the region. We therefore challenge the idea that the Syrian revolution is an imperialist plot hatched in Washington, or that the West has any interest even in seeing a successful Syrian revolution. Uh, we actually oppose Western imperialist threats to attack Syria, and we defend Syria's popular uprising against the Assad dictatorship and his allies. The Syrian struggle is not just a political one um, to remove Assad and you know, replace the head of the, of the pyramid. It is also a basic fight for profound social and economic uh, changes to address the underlying issues of tyranny, corruption, occupation, poverty, economic development and justice, real uh, democracy, real representation, um, all of which I don't think can be resolved or delivered from above um, or overnight. Um, there are no guarantees that the Syrian revolution will succeed. Uh, indeed, we are witnessing today um, one of the darkest moments um, in, 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 that, uh, in that movement. Uh, but we and our speakers today uh, come from a variety of backgrounds um, and political perspectives. We are human rights and labor activists, anarchists and members of socialist groups. We are academics and simply concerned individuals. We are all cooperating today out of a shared concern for the grassroots popular uprising in Syria, uh, which is struggling to survive under the boot of Assad's repression on the one hand um, and the repression that it is facing uh, from the counter-revolutionary Islamist forces on the other. Many of us were actively, very actively involved uh, in opposing the U.S. wars on Afghanistan uh, and Iraq. Uh, but our anti-imperialism is not an excuse for us to give political cover to a dictatorship which has for decades repressed independent political parties, unions, workers' organizations, and even discussion groups and public gatherings like this one. Uh, we cannot deny the Syrian people's agency to liberate themselves. We cannot ignore their grassroots attempts to organize their coordinating committees, their popular councils, their armed resistance, and revolutionary organizations literally under fire from many fronts. Um, we should not choose between a dictatorship or imperialism. That is, that is a false choice. Dictatorships and imperialism use each other to justify the, the, the violence that they both inflict. The choice between the two has historically guaranteed us that we will suffer from both. If anything, Syria today is an example uh, of that. Today we will hear from a number of activists from Syria and Palestine, as well as from others who have recently um, uh, returned from Syria or had lived there and, 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 and studied there. Uh, we've divided up the day into three sessions. Uh, I think everyone has, has the program. Um, each session is about an hour, 45 minutes long, with 15-minute breaks uh, between them. We will begin our program with presentations on the root causes of the Syrian revolution and what the participation and organizing uh, looks like on the grassroots level with specific examples over the last three years up to and including the present day uh, challenges in the liberated areas with, with the rise of the Islamists. Uh, we will then refute some myths which the regime is pushing to confuse people, um, specifically on the questions of Palestine and the alleged neutrality of Palestinians in the uprising, uh, the question of sectarianism in the revolution, um, and the alleged secularism of, of the regime, uh, the myth that the revolution is simply a jihadi Sunni uh, uprising, um, and finally the mistaken view that the Assad regime um, is a friend of the left. Uh, in our final session, we will discuss Syria in the context of the Arab uprisings. Uh, we will take a look at the international and regional geopolitics, their impact on the day-to-day -day struggles of the Syrian people, um, and hear another eyewitness report on participatory democracy and local governance um, in the liberated areas uh, of Syria. Uh, I look forward to hearing from all of the speakers and also from, from all of you. We will have time you know, for discussion in every session. I think there's a lot to talk about and a lot that we can um, learn from each other. So um, I'm, I'm very glad you know, everyone was able to make it um, out here uh, on a Sunday.